Hi there, Rob here. Uh, just going to take you through the template file that we're going to be using in Adobe Illustrator for our technical drawings. So you should have downloaded this first, this A3 landscape with templates. All you need to do is double click on it and it will open Adobe Illustrator. If you're working on a PC, Windows, it will look slightly different, but the principles are the same and everything's in the same place. If you get this box come up, just click on done. It may disappear and it may come back, so click on done again. This is what the template looks like, and I just want to get you to reset all of your document and program area just to make it uh, nice and easy to use. So first off, if you go to the window menu, go to workspace and make sure that essentials is selected. And once it is, click on reset essentials. That will put all of your panels on the right hand side back in the right place. If you click on this little double arrow, it will hide it away. You might find it more useful when you're starting to just hover over this little area between the window here and the panels dock just to click and drag to the left and it will pull out a bigger version of the panel so you can actually read what all these panels do. Next thing to do is to set the preferences just to make sure that they are in the right uh, units. So click on preferences and then go to the units option and then make sure that general and stroke both say millimeters. A lot easier to use with these measurements. Type can say at points. Once you're happy with that, click on OK and we should be ready to go. So I'm just going to show you the basics for uh, Illustrator and this particular uh, template file that we're going to use. We have a border around it that has a few uh, areas that you can label for descriptions of your work. And you will notice we have a body template or croquis positioned here. There are actually two templates on this file. There's a female and a male template. And if you go over to your panels area and click on the layers panel, and it's easier just to click on the word layers and just pull it away, and that panel comes off, almost like tearing off a post-it note or a piece of paper. Again, click on the little double arrow here just to close everything else away. So we're going to be looking at this layers panel and all the different parts that are in the template. Now, all these layers are stacked on top of each other. So the bottom layer, well, the bottom piece of paper in this stack is the border, which is this area here. I can turn it off or hide it by clicking on this eye icon here, and it disappears. It hasn't gone for good. I can come back by clicking on the eye again. I can't move it at the moment. I'm using this black arrow tool, which is what we use to move objects around. I'm trying to click and drag with it, and it won't move. This is because that layer is completely locked. This little lock icon here in this space means it's locked. I won't unlock it because I'll have to drag it away. The next up are the guides that we use and I can open up this guides layer by clicking on this little triangle here and it'll pop out some guides that are in sub layers underneath. They're objects that appear in this guides layer. And I've got a center front guide, which is this one here, and a center back guide, which is on the right hand side here. If I wanna hide either of those away, I can't because this layer is locked. So if I unlock it, and then I can hide the center back guide or the center front guide just by clicking and clicking again in this area here to show and hide. I'm gonna lock that guides layer back up and close it up again because I don't need to worry about this. The next layer above this is the template layer. Now this is a special kind of layer that allows you to have slightly fuzzed out and locked objects. It's a little bit like having a piece of tracing paper over a background template. Uh, there's actually two templates, one on top of the other. At the bottom is the men's template. On top, the one you can see is known as the Missy template or the female body template. Again, to actually work with these, I need to unlock the template layer. Now I can start working with these. Now I want to see the men's template, which is underneath the Missy template. So if I just hide the Missy template, the men's ones appear. If I click and hide the men's tem template, nothing there. Click on the Missy template and it's back again. 
If you want to work with a female body, if you're doing your drawings, keep it like this. If you want to work with a male body, switch the men's one. And once you've finished setting everything up, just click on the space there to lock that template layer. And then finally, the last layer on the very top is one called the outline layer. This has been set up. You can set up your own layer. And this is basically to get the outline of the first part of your garment. And this is where we're going to be drawing with the pen tool to start with our garments.